Hello everyone and welcome to the seventh video in the series of videos that looks at completing the Level 2 Essential Skills Wales ICT qualification. Now in the last video we looked at creating a pie chart and a bar chart. And remember we use those so that it's easier for the reader to actually see the information. And ultimately it was useful for us to create a graph or a chart so that we could put it into our presentation which we'll be making as part of the next activity because that is one of the criteria of completing or one of the success criteria for completing this project is that you have to take an outcome from one part of the activity and put it into the other so we're going to take the results of our spreadsheet and put them into the PowerPoint presentation okay so what we're going to do in this video is very very simply first of all we're going to be doing a spell check and obviously we do a spell check to check for accuracy so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open go to all programs and open up Microsoft Office and choose publisher what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a landscape blank landscape uh, A4 layout and then I'm going to go to insert and I'm very think first thing I'm going to do is put a header in there so I'm going to do my name and then I'm going to put um, spreadsheet spell check and remember how important it is to put a header in there so that when you print it we can see it's your work there we are and I'm gonna put like that bold it's very clear I drop the size by one and I'm gonna go to master page close master page so I can do now go into my spreadsheet like this remember yours will look slightly different to this but it doesn't matter at all what it looks like a spell check works exactly the same regardless and the way that we do this is on the keyboard you simply press the F7 key which is slap bang in the middle pretty much of the very top row of the keys so press F7 and it'll ask you if you want to check the spelling now remember a lot of these are brands or maybe names of shops so it means that there will be some spelling mistakes because they're not in the English dictionary but that's fine we're just going to ignore those so I can go to ignore all first of all and I want to check the rest of the spreadsheet by pressing yes ignore all ignore because again these are all brands that are coming up in names of shops and now the spell check is complete so I take a screenshot or print screen if you don't know where it is look for the print screen button on the keyboard but you should be used to that by now and go into your publisher document simply right click and paste and drag that onto the page so I'm just going to zoom out and now I can resize it slightly to fit in there there we go and now all I need to do is put a bit of a border around the image so I'm going to double click the formatting options come up and I'm going to choose the black picture border and I'm going to change the weight to about four and a half and there we go that's ready to be saved so I'm going to go to file save as choose my location and okay I go into the activity one and spreadsheet and I could save it in there as in here I know I've got to save the spreadsheet screenshots but I could actually save it in there as spread sheet spell check like that press save and that's done so just in summary then what you needed to have done in, based on this video is you needed to have completed a spell check and also provided a print screen to support evidence of that and you also needed to have included a header in um, with your name and the title of the document in that publisher document which is really important so basically now that's the end of the spreadsheet activity so as long as you've done the research the search log the research screenshots um, the actual spreadsheet and the charts themselves you've actually completed the spreadsheet section now make sure that you've named your file appropriately and make sure that you've got a good folder structure ready to go so the next piece of work that we're actually going to be looking at is the presentation in which based on the assignment brief you would be pitching to the head of sixth form okay so Mr Lloyd and you would be using the information that you found from your research and in the spreadsheet to support that and that's what we'll be looking at in the next video